Hey guys, what's up? My name is Todd and I'm actually doing this video as a review of the Can-Am Spider F3 just because I'm a huge Can-Am fan and I thought I would put this out there for those of you that are interested in checking out the F3 and I'll give you a little background. Just got this F3 about two weeks ago. This is my third Can-Am Spider. Started off with an RSS, um, an o, let's see, a 12, 2012 RSS model, same color as this one. Then my wife, who's running the camera, uh, fell in love with it. She drove it. My, it was a manual. She fell in love with it, got her own, and we have an ST Limited. And then when the F3 came out, I drove this, and it was the worst mistake I ever made because when I drove it, I no longer wanted the RSS. Um, in my opinion, this bike is probably what the RSS should have been and what I think a lot of people wanted the RSS to be. I come from a motorcycle background. I've had three two-wheel bikes. I've had a CBR F3, which is a Honda. All of them are Hondas. I've had a Magna 750 and I've had a Goldwing 1800. And when I started getting back into riding, I started looking at the spiders. And this is what I wish the RSS would have been. So let me show you a couple of changes. Obviously, if you know what the RSS looked like, this is a completely different body style. The RSS has a 990 engine in it. The, uh, this newer model has a 1330. And if you want to pan around and get some shots of it. This new motor is a 1330. Um, the RSS is a five speed. This is a six speed. If you get it and you've ridden a motorcycle in the past, I definitely recommend getting the manual shift. The manual shift is much more, uh, it's more fun to ride in, or it's more fun to drive, and it reminds you more of an actual traditional motorcycle as opposed to electronic paddle shift. If you've never ridden a bike before, paddle shift is probably the way to go. Um, they've completely changed the body style of this. Again, like I said, it's got the bigger engine. It's a six speed, not a five speed where the RSS was. It's way faster. And if I'm gonna be completely honest with you about this bike, this bike is almost too fast for I mean it's but it's fun like you cannot you cannot stay out of this bike like when you drive it you can't help but get into it it's just made for fun it does not come with the factory windshield so I did put a windshield on it because you're going to catch a lot of wind if you don't so the windshield that I put on it I think is the one that's probably more popular um, it's not hard to put on it's pretty easy makes a big difference from the wind speed um, it comes with the U-Fit system. So the U-Fit system is actually a handlebar system that changes. So like this part and that part actually come off and you can actually change out these handlebars to be further in or actually further forward for a more aggressive feel to make you lean forward. This is the standard position, which I think is position three or four. I think there's four positions, but they come in this standard position. Same with the legs. Unlike the RSS, the driver and passenger or the driver pegs were more right here, like a traditional crotch rocket uh, or similar to what I had when I had my CBR where your legs were more straight underneath you. This is a more of a cruising position, which was kind of interesting to get used to, um, but I actually like it. So it's actually nice having the feet forward because it's more comfortable and you can actually change out these rods. So you actually move this pedal forward or shorter, so if you have shorter legs, there's a shorter rod that you would put in that brings the pedal up. If you've got really long legs, you can push it out. Again, this is the standard. There's one brake pedal, for those of you that don't know much about the spiders, it's one brake pedal that controls all three wheels. There is no handlebar brake like a traditional motorcycle. Um, the factory pipe on it, which I'll let you hear in a second, is uh, fairly quiet. That will be changed in about a month or so. Two Brothers is actually working on a pipe for this bike right now that they're gonna release in about three to four weeks from the time that this video was filmed. Uh, they started off with a carbon fiber pipe. The carbon fiber didn't work. So now they're gonna do a, um, just a regular chrome or silver pipe that they've made for the F3. There's a there's one that BRP, who makes Can-Am, is pushing, um, but it's not all that great. So if you're gonna go, and it's awesome, a way more expensive than the Two Brothers pipe that's coming out. Um, these are your passenger foot pegs. So your passenger, in this seat, is way more comfortable than what was on the RSS. So like this video is mainly geared towards those of you that have the RSS or are looking at the differences between this bike and the RSS. This seat is way more comfortable. The backrest is way better than the one that came on the RSS and the ST. Um, let's see. So this is your clutch, same thing. You can change out the shaft on here as well for longer, shorter legs. And I'll show you how the backrest works. So the backrest before, on the other bike, you had to, on the RSS, it had a sport rack that sat right here that you would pop loose. 
This is actually really cool. I love the way they've done this. You actually push forward and pop off. And you, when you take it off, there's no remnants of the backrest at all. So like whenever you're riding around and you want to pop the backrest on, it literally just pushes in and locks into place. And when you take it off, you'd never know it was there. The uh, back, the back of the back, or the back of the seat, the passenger seat actually comes off. The, your toolkit is underneath there. You can actually take, you can actually replace this. You can actually replace this. It's got a little bungee cord that unclips. You can actually take this off and buy a single, like there's two different types of actual hard covers and there's actual storage. So you actually get rid of the passenger seat and you can actually replace it with a storage compartment that makes this bike a one up or a one person only. But it's kind of cool if you ever, you know, if you don't do a lot of passenger riding, you can always do that option. All right, there's one other thing I want to add about this bike. The differences between this and the RSS is two things. Number one, the gas tank used to be located underneath the seat. So every time you get off, uh, go to the gas station, especially if you were riding somebody, um, they'd have to get off the bike. You pop it, the seat lifted up, and the gas tank was underneath here. They'd actually put the gas tank up on top like a traditional if you want to come in and show it more like a traditional motorcycle so it's actually on top of the bike just like you would see on most motorcycles and the other thing that i wanted to point out about this is the seating position we talked about the legs earlier but one of the biggest things that you'll notice that's different about the f3 is you actually sit down into it more like a traditional motorcycle so the steering and the lateral force is different on the f3 than it was the RSS. On the RSS, when you would be riding through the curves and we, we would take it up to the mountains and ride them around, you felt more of a lateral pull when you would go through the curves on the RSS. This one, because you're sitting lower and you're more into the bike, and I saw this on another review of another, on another video and I agree with it 100%, because you're sitting more down into the bike like a traditional motorcycle, you feel like you're more part of the bike. Like you actually feel more in tuned and more in line in a part of the bike so that when you're steering you actually find yourself leaning with the bike like you would a traditional motorcycle rather than fighting that lateral force so that was one of the biggest improvements is the way it feels when you're and we talked about the steering earlier but the way it feels with the seating position and being more low and into it like a traditional motorcycle here's the only downfall of this bike the only downfall is if you had an rss or if you looked at the rss the trunk space is way bigger on the RSS than the F3. When they did the F3, they moved the radiator up to the front, and by doing so, they lost a lot of trunk space. Like, literally, you have room for one helmet, and that's it. The trunk space on this bike, the sizzle holds 15 pounds. I think the RSS and the ST is 30 pounds, so you literally lost half, 35 pounds. You lost half or more of the weight that you could carry in the front. But you, again, that's when you could do the one-up thing behind the driver's seat. And they can act, they actually sell saddlebags um, for this bike that actually look pretty cool. And supposedly, it's similar to the backrest to where when you take the saddlebags off, you don't, you don't see the mounts for them. So it looks just like this when the saddlebags are off. So you can actually put them on and take them off and you would never know that they were, like if you took them off, you never know. It doesn't leave this like bulky looking frame like they do on the RSS and the ST. When you take the bags off of those bikes, you see this big frame, it just kind of looks bad. Not true with this. Um, the steering on this bike, when you're going really slow in the parking lot, the steering is very, very loose. I love it. The steering is amazing for really, for like small tight spaces and going at a slow speed. The faster you go, the tighter the steering gets. So it gets, and it's got a very sporty feel when you're going down the road. I compare this, when I test drove this bike, the guy at the dealership told me, he was like, it's almost like driving a sports car. And it really is. It, it is very much so like a sports car. It's hard to stay out of it. You want to gun it all the time because it's so fast and so responsive. And it's just a ton of fun to ride. Like, I cannot tell you how much fun. I think the F and F3 stands for fun. That's how much, um, that's how amazing this bike is. The other thing I like about this, and we'll wrap this video up, two things. On the, on the handlebars, this has an eco mode, which you may laugh at because you're sitting there going, why would you have an eco mode on such a fast, sporty bike? It's actually pretty cool. Like if you're gonna do a lot of highway driving or whatever, if you flip this into eco mode, 
it actually changes the way the um, bike shifts and it takes a little bit of the power away from it and gives you much better gas mileage. And there's actually an arrow that shows up on the um, odometer or actually on the display. There's an arrow that tells you when to shift in order to maximize your gas mileage. The other thing I love about this bike that I did not have in my 2012 RSS is cruise control. This bike does come with cruise control. I think it's only available on the sport models. So I will tell you that cruise control to me was a big deal because when I did not have it on the RSS, I hated not having it. So if, you, if it's something that you want, it's worth the upgrade to get the RSS. The RSS comes with a lot of horns and whistles that the other base model doesn't. It's got the upgrade shocks, the Fox racing shocks, I believe are an upgrade. At least they were on the RSS. Um, the silver trim on the front is an upgrade. I'm actually getting ready to put the black stripes on the hood. Um, it does not come with the fog lights. You'd have to add those. And it just comes with the different color schemes and, and different, you know, better schemes and paint job and that kind of stuff. This is pre-pipe because the pipe's not in yet, but hopefully in about a month or so, I'll have a pipe on it. We'll put it in neutral. Everything's the same. You have to hit the mode button. I was going to compare what it sounds like it honestly sounds like a sports car when you drive it it feels and sounds like a sports car when you get a pipe on it i think it's going to sound more like a traditional sport bike um, it's way more visible way more fun way safer than a two-wheel bike i've had three two-wheel bikes like i said before and i'll never go back spiders are probably going to be what i'm going to ride for the rest of my life and if they keep changing and developing and making them better the way they did with this f3 i will definitely keep buying spiders again it's my third one this is the best one they've come out with yet. The improvements and the changes, they really hit it out of the park on this. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Be safe.